Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at a stock dividend example. We are giving the data for Adam Company, we are giving the stockholders equity and we're giving the selling price for the stock. So Adam Company stock is selling currently for $40 per share, that's the market price. And the stockholders equity, which is the balance sheet, is as follow. Common stock, $10 par value, Adam has 400 shares, issues an outstanding, which is $10 times 400,000 shares gives us the 4 million. Paid in capital in excess of par common stock is 1.3 and retained earning is 600,000. In this example, Adam Company will issue a 15% stock dividend. They will issue a 90% stock dividend and Adam Company will declare two for one stock split. And what we're going to do, we're going to look at the journal entries and how do we come up with the figures when we need to journalize a stock dividend as well as a stock split? Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Now this topic, as it is presented right now, could be given as a CPA simulation on the CPA exam, or this could be an exercise in your intermediate accounting course. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and try to resolve this problem. Starting with Adam Company issued 15% stock dividend. Now, the first thing you want to know is 15%. What does the 15% mean? It means the stock dividend is considered a small stock dividend because we have a large stock dividend and a small stock dividend. So the first thing you want to differentiate between those two, because the way you treat, the way you journalize, the way you capitalize retained earning, the w how much you would reduce retained earning will depend on the amount of the dividend. Is it a small or is it a large? Now, how do we determine whether a stock dividend is a small or a large stock dividend? If the stock dividend is 20 to 25 percent we consider it small and obviously if it's a greater than 20 to 25 percent we consider it large now you you might be saying what about if it's between 20 to 25 percent you'll you'll make a judgment but usually they don't give you this uh, this type of questions on the cpa exam just know we are dealing with a small stock dividend so what do we have to do when we are dealing with a small stock dividend well the first thing we have to do is we have to compute how many new shares are we issuing so right now we have 400,000 shares outstanding and we're going to be issuing 15% additional shares and those additional shares will be given will be given to the shareholders distributed proportionally to the shareholders. Well, if we take 400,000 shares right now times 15%, we issue 60,000 new shares. Now if you own, if you own 10% of the stocks, you'll get 10% of the 60,000. If you own 1% of the 400,000, you'll get 1% 1, 1 of the 60,000. So it's distributed proportionally. Now we are dealing with the journal entry. We need to journalize this dividend. How much do we debit retained earnings? Remember, retained earnings is the, um, is the account that dividend comes out of. So it's going to reduce retained earning. Well, for small stock dividend, and you need to know this, we are going to use the market value per share. It means we're going to take the 60,000 new shares we issued, we're going to multiply it by $40. What does the $40 represent? The market price of the share, which will give us a debit retained earnings of 2.4 million. Now for every debit, we need a credit. We're going to credit first an account called common, doc, common stock dividend to be distributed or distributable, 600,000, which is the number of shares times $10. It's the same way as we credit common stock. But right now we have not distributed the stock. Therefore, we have it in this account called common stock dividend distributable. Now, this is an equity account. This is not a liability. This is an equity account. And any remaining will be credited to additional paid and capital common stock. So the, 
here's what I want you to notice when it comes to stock dividend. We reduced retained earnings, which is equity. Then we increase two equity accounts for the same amount. Simply put, we reduced equity by 2.4 million. We increased equity by 2.4 million. What happened to the company overall net effect? There is no net effect on equity. There is no net effect on the balance sheet. What I'm trying to say is this, in contrast to cash dividend, in contrast to property dividend, stock dividend do not reduce your equity. All what you are doing, all what we did is this. Kind of if you want to look at it from a business perspective, we took this, we took part of the retained earnings, which is part of the 6 million in retained earnings, we took 2.4 of it, and we distributed to the, to the shareholders. That's all what we did. So overall, the equity of the company is the same. The equity of the company now the equity the individual equity of the shareholders of course they're going to be very busy they're going to be very busy uh they're going to be very happy not very busy very happy that they receive the additional shares now when we issue the actual shares we're going to debit common stock dividend distributable and we're going to credit common stock so let's see what happened overall let's take a look at the final picture so common stock dividend to be distributed is the, basically gone all what we did is we issued stocks we credited common stock, credited paid in capital, and rather than receiving cash, what happened is the company debited retained earnings. So we used the retained earnings to do what? To compensate, to reward our shareholders. And this is a an example of a small stock dividend. Now let's assume the company issued 90% 90 90 stock dividend. Well, the first thing we have to know is how many new shares are we issuing? Well, if we have 400,000 shares, and this is independent from the prior one, so we're not assuming that we have the additional shares, we're, we're going back to the original example, 400,000 times 90%, we're going to be issuing 360,000 new shares. Well, again, the question is, how much do we debit retained earnings? Well, for, for a large stock dividend, we debit retained earnings for the par value. Therefore, we're going to take 360 times 10, equal to 3.6 million, that's that's the debit to retained earnings. And we are going to credit common stock dividend distributable. Simply put, we don't have additional paid in capital because we, we are issuing the stock dividend exactly at par. So that's it, it's two entries only. Then when we actually distribute the stock to the shareholders, we are going to debit common stock dividend distributable. So this is basically gone. And we're gonna credit regular common stock. So basically what ended up happening, we issued stocks and we reduced retained earning. The same concept as before. We reduced an equity account and we increased an equity account, no effect overall. Now, Adam Company declared two for one stock split. What's the journal entry? No entry. All what we did here is we declared two for one stock split. It means if you have one stock, you're gonna have two now. Here's what's going to happen. So the outstanding shares of the company, they they don't, they're, they're 400,000, they're going to become 800,000. Hold on a second. If this 800,000, what's going to happen to this number? Well, if we double the number of shares, we have to cut the par value in half. So now we're back to the same where we are. $5 times 800,000 equal to 400,000 in common stock. There's no entry. The company will issue a memo and uh, the shareholders would receive additional shares and the other thing that happens too the stock price becomes 20 as well so the shareholders immediately not better off because everything is adjusted but hopefully in the future the stock price will go up and they will have more shares what should you do stock dividend is extremely important topic on the cpa exam ex extremely important topic in your accounting courses go to farhat lectures and learn about stock dividend large stock dividend small stock dividend stock split because those topics are covered and you need to be comfortable with them good luck study hard and of course stay safe